This is James Spann with the afternoon update. This is for Wednesday, the 14th of June. As expected, it's been a very active weather day across the state, and big storms continue. So let's go right to the radar. Needless to say, a lot to talk about today. And goodness gracious, that does not look like June. You can see these uh, fast-moving storms coming across the state. The motion there, that looks like something you might see in March or April. Uh, The good news, the storms have ended in areas north and west of Birmingham, and the risk of severe storms for now is over there. And the tornado watch has been cleared. But let's take a look at some of the more uh, active storms. Uh, This cluster that you see here uh, that is approaching Anniston, uh, that is running from near Ohatchee down to really almost downtown Anniston, Munford, Talladega, right down Highway 21. Uh, that uh, particular line segment has potential to produce winds of 60 to 70 miles an hour in spots, not the entire line, but that could easily blow down uh, some trees, take out some power lines, and we have severe thunderstorm warnings in effect now for most of Calhoun, uh, most of Talladega counties. The storms have moved out of St. Clair. So again, that's the uh, concern for East Alabama. And also in addition to damaging winds, the storms could produce some fairly uh, significant-sized hail. And again, that's coming right into uh, downtown Anniston and then curving down to Talladega. That line segment will ultimately come through parts of Cleburne, Clay, and Randolph counties in East Alabama. So that's uh, one concern. Then the other concern is this storm here that is currently over uh, Hale County. This has prompted a severe thunderstorm warning. This produced some very large hail earlier back in Pickens County. The core has actually gone down a bit in the last 15 minutes, but still some small hail is possible here, along with strong gusty winds. Uh, We also have strong storms now in the vicinity of uh, uh, Prattville and Wetumpka, uh, north and northeast of Montgomery. Uh, Strong storms over parts of uh, Tallapoosa, Chambers, Elmore, Lee, northern Macon counties there in uh, east Alabama. And also uh, big storms down in parts of southeast Alabama. Again, Eufaul has been pounded today. We've had uh, uh, multiple tornadoes in southeast Alabama earlier today uh, down in the southeastern part of the state. And again, that's a a severe thunderstorm warning for parts of Barber County. Uh, And again, uh, all of this will slowly settle down uh, tonight. Uh, The storms will fade from northwest to southeast over the next several hours. But we will probably have more storms later tonight into tomorrow, but probably not as intense as the ones that we are seeing uh, today. And uh, let's just go right to uh, some of the video from earlier today. Uh, This is the tornado that came through the community of Abbeville uh, this morning. This is about 1045. Abbeville is down in the southeastern corner of the state in Henry County. And again, uh, that looks more like a Great Plains tornado. That is not rain-wrapped and uh, pretty visible. Uh, And there's been some damage, but uh, thankfully I've heard of no injuries uh, from that. Here's another look at the same tornado. And again, this is the one near Abbeville about 1045, 1050 this morning. Uh, And that crossed over into Georgia, across the uh, Chattahoochee. And again, uh, kind of hard to see behind those trees. And then we had another tornado that came through the southern part of Eufaula, uh, this was from Barber County, the southern part of Eufaula, and again, uh, that did produce some uh, significant damage. Uh, Chief Watkins sent some photos of the damage there, but he reports uh, no injuries uh, at this point, and that was also earlier today. And of course, we've had uh, large hail. Uh, this is the uh, storm that came through southern Pickens County. This was near Aliceville. Uh, you can see high wind, large hail falling there. In fact, speaking of large hail, uh, this is some of the largest hail I've seen today. This was taken down at uh, Halesburg, down in southeast Alabama earlier today. That's uh, basically baseball-sized hail. So uh, really quickly, while we've been speaking here, we now have a new severe thunderstorm warning uh, that is being issued, and this is downstream of this line segment. This uh, new warning includes uh, the southern part of Cleburne County, uh, basically all of Clay and all of Randolph. And again, it's for the line segment that you see there that's coming through uh, Jacksonville, Anniston, uh, and then over to uh, Talladega, that segment right there. And again, that's going to keep on moving to the uh, east-southeast. And uh, this is easily capable of producing large hail and uh, strong uh, straight-line winds. Uh, So just uh, be aware of that. And again, uh, that'll be into Georgia fairly soon. So uh, we'll go through some of the maps here real quick. Don't want to you know, keep you too long here because most people are kind of focused on current weather. But this is the large-scale situation. There's this deep upper low that's northeast of Pittsburgh. 
And underneath that, we have this unusually strong belt of mid-level winds helping to push those storms along in a rapid clip and providing dynamic support for the strong storms today. But once those storms pass, the sky is cleared over northeast Alabama. Uh, we've got the sun shining back in the shoals in parts of north, uh, northwest Alabama. And you can see much of south Alabama with a partly sunny day. So it's certainly not raining everywhere, but that was the radar composite across the uh, deep south. That was captured, uh, let's see, that was a little earlier. That was about 2 o'clock. I'm doing this live at 2.35. So there's a tornado watch for the counties on this map in yellow. And again, the watch is being cleared. And basically for Birmingham, with this round, the severe weather risk is ended. Uh, Tuscaloosa, Gadsden, you're done with this batch of storms. Uh, but the uh, risk continues in areas south and east of Birmingham. And on top of the uh, tornado watch, we have a flash flood watch. We're basically the same area. You see some green on that map. Uh, the tornado watch overrides the flash flood watch, but it's a, a combination thing today. Here's the uh, severe weather outlook uh, through this evening. And again, you can see that rare level four out of five risk for June. Uh, and again, uh, Daryl Hertzman, our friend up at Iowa State, he did some digging and uh, he found one moderate risk day in June here. Uh, it's on record, and I think that was about 20, 25 years ago. Uh, but that level four out of five covers a pretty good chunk of central and south Alabama. This is the probabilistic outlook for tornadoes. And again, within that hatched area that you see, uh, there could be, could be, and this is an SBC forecast, a, a significant tornado. And by that, that would be, uh, by definition, EF2 or higher. But in terms of uh, the weather for the rest of this afternoon and this evening, where you see the shades of yellow in the hatched area on that map, that represents the best chance of a couple of isolated tornadoes, uh, central, south, and southeast Alabama. And, of course, in addition to that, we have the threat of damaging wind. This is the chance of damaging wind within 25 miles of a point. And you can see basically a 50-50 chance in that uh, uh, moderate risk area and also the chance of large hail. We've already seen some of that today. So uh, let's look ahead to tomorrow. And, again, uh, we've got a risk mainly for the southern half of the state. We have a level 2 out of 5 risk tomorrow, uh, basically south of a line from near Thomasville to Greenville to about Eufaula and then a marginal risk up to Birmingham. Tomorrow should not be as active as today, but still we'll see scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms around. And then on day three, which is Friday, we have a marginal risk over a pretty good chunk of the state. That's level one out of five. Uh, and this is the risk on Saturday, a risk over the Southern Plains states. And we note on day five, which is Sunday, we have a risk over the northwestern part of Alabama with the next disturbance coming through this unusually fast flow. And the rain amounts could be very impressive. This is the uh, uh, WPC forecast, Weather Prediction Center from NOAA. And they've got a bullseye of nine inches at Dothan over the next seven days. This is valid through Wednesday morning of next week. And uh, let me tell you what, we don't get nine inches of rain around here in June, typically unless there's a tropical system, a tropical storm, or a hurricane involved. But those are some really big numbers. Uh, Montgomery, 7.8. Birmingham, 4.3. Uh, so, again, a lot of rain here, but on the positive side, the tropics are nice and quiet. So, quickly, let's go back to the radar. We're kind of bouncing back and forth between the usual graphics we show and ongoing weather. Uh, we've got this line segment uh, capable of producing damaging winds uh, from now east of Anniston near White Plains, then uh, curving down to uh, Chihaw State Park, and then to a point just north and west of Ashland in Clay County. And that'll be rolling through places like Ashland, Lineville, Heflin, Ranburn, Wadawi over the next uh, 30 minutes or so. And again, just keep in mind, this could knock down a lot of trees. We have severe thunderstorm warnings in effect for areas in advance of that line segment through parts of Cleburne, Randolph, and Clay counties there in uh, East Alabama. And of course, there are other storms as well. Uh, we've still got a severe thunderstorm warning for Hale County. We could see some pretty large hail falling now south of Greensboro. That's about to push into uh, Perry County. And I would imagine uh, we'll have a severe thunderstorm warning for Perry County soon. And the storms uh, near Montgomery are packing quite a punch. They've increased in intensity. And again, large hail could be falling in areas west and north of Montgomery. Looks like on uh, US 231 between Montgomery and Wetumpka, could see some hail falling at this point. And uh, again, uh, just kind of pay attention to warnings today. Most of them will be severe thunderstorm warnings, but uh, there could be an isolated tornado warning or two. Um, and again, uh, just to save time, we're going to skip a lot of the typical maps we do because we've, we're so busy here. We're doing updates on the television side as well. Uh, but uh, the, the bottom line is we'll have, again, scattered to numerous showers and storms tomorrow. 
Friday, widely scattered storms, but where they do form, they could pack a punch. And then for the weekend, scattered storms Saturday. We're thinking of the two days. The better coverage of rain could very well be on uh, uh, Sunday. Uh, in fact, I'll kind of show you the weekend really quick. Uh, this is Saturday, and this is uh, Sunday. And again, Sunday, we've got that risk of severe storms to find up in uh, northwest Alabama. But real quick, we'll go out uh, 10 days. To, uh, this is Saturday the 24th, and again, evidence at that point were much drier. Uh, we're, we're thinking that we're going to trend drier toward the latter half of next week and that following weekend. So we'll see if that uh, holds up. Quick peek at the numbers. This is the National Blend of Models for Birmingham. Uh, not that bad for this time of the year, 83 tomorrow, and then mostly upper 80s through uh, much of uh, next week. So one more time before we go, let's go back to the radar. And again, for those that are watching later, I'm doing this live. As I speak, it's 2.40 Central Time. And if you're new here, we simulcast these every day, every day on YouTube and Facebook weekdays. Uh, in the morning, about 5.15, in the afternoon, about 2.45, and you can see uh, a number of warnings have been uh, issued since we last spoke. So let's take a look at those really quickly. Uh, we've got a severe thunderstorm warning now for parts of Perry and Dallas counties for the cluster that's coming out of Hale County. That'll be affecting places like Marion and Selma. There's no evidence of a tornado. We have no tornado warnings in effect for the state. So again, uh, severe thunderstorm warnings for parts of Perry and Dallas counties. And now we have severe thunderstorm warnings in effect for parts of Montgomery, Elmore, Macon, and Bullock counties. Uh, the big cluster near Montgomery, Wetumpka, that'll be moving southeast. That'll be affecting, uh, ultimately, places like Pike Road, uh, Tuskegee, down toward Union Springs. And again, with all of these storms, you've got the chance of large hail and damaging winds. They're moving off to the uh, east-southeast. And again, I'll give, show you the big view. we got a few more of these storms back in uh, eastern Mississippi kind of moving down that same uh, trajectory here. And we'll be watching for signs of any storm rotation this afternoon or this evening. Uh, and again, at the moment, as I do this update live again at uh, 2.42 p.m. Central Time, we have no active tornado warnings in effect. But uh, obviously, we'll be uh, watching all of this like a hawk uh, through the evening hours and keep you advised here on the social platforms and on the television side. And of course, we do invite you to watch us on ABC 3340 News, right across the hall in Studio A. We'll be live at uh, 4 o'clock. And again, if we have tornado warnings, of course, we'll go on the air wall-to-wall. -wall. Uh, it looks like the tornado warnings, if we see them, will probably be south of our television market area in the Montgomery market. But again, we'll be watching carefully. But we'll be on the air at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock this evening. And of course... Uh, uh, we invite you to uh, catch our show, Weather Brains, our podcast. If you are not uh, tuned in, if you're a weather dweeb, subscribe. I had a great show this week. But anyway, got to run, got to do some television. Thank you guys for watching. Have a marvelous evening, and God bless.